everybody. Welcome to the Hacienda. I'll rivet here. Today we're going to make something fantastic from the Mediterranean. Uh, grilled swordfish steaks with harissa paste. Harissa condiment. Uh, let's get a close-up here. I want to show you, talk about harissa here for a moment. There we go. Harissa is a condiment um, made uh, from the Bakludi pepper. And the Bakludi pepper comes from Algeria, Tunisia, and uh, that's in North Africa. Now, both of those countries were a colony of France for many, many years, and uh, this condiment, uh, therefore, was brought to southern France and is hugely popular there. And there are several uh, companies that make harissa paste in both tube form and in jars that come from um, France, and you can buy them online at Amazon, and I'm going to give you the link below. But as you can see, it's uh, fairly thick, uh, rich with uh, flavors. The Bakludi pepper is not hot at all. It's just a, has a very nice smoky flavor, uh, very mild. Now, uh, I've also put the link here of uh, last year when I made harissa paste. I grow Bakludi peppers uh, every year and lots of them, so I make my own. Um, you'll notice if you've seen the other video, this one's not as red as last year, and that's because this year uh, I added fresh cilantro. Same size recipe, but I added a cup and a half of fresh cilantro. Uh, I made and packed this on the 23rd of August. I got four full pints plus this full container. Um, the uh, <clears throat> The pints freeze well, and uh, you don't have to water bath them or nothing. Just cover them with a layer of olive oil and put them in the freezer, and they can freeze keep for about eight, nine months. Now, as you can see, I've eaten about a third of this. This stuff is delicious on anything. Now, i got some four nice swordfish steaks here. We're going to go ahead and coat them up and put them on the grill. So stick with me, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. All right, what we got here is four beautiful tuna fish steaks. Let's get a nice shot of that. What we are gonna do, now I've rinsed and dried out the uh, tuna steaks with a paper towel very well. And we're gonna take the harissa paste and we're gonna rub it in fairly generously all over it, top, bottom, sides, okay? Even Dak the cat wants some. Okay, so here we now, here we have the hot grills, coals, and the fish, and we're gonna start cooking them. Okay, so now we flipped them over. They're smelling delicious. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming out, uh, but it is awesome. I've also put some uh, lemons cut side down, so we'll heat them up and grill them a little bit to uh, squeeze over the uh, swordfish steaks. And there we have grilled swordfish steak uh, with garden tomatoes and uh, asparagus and some grilled lemon. Yeah, looking good. So this lemon is hot, so I'm going to use some tongs and uh, why don't we squeeze it over the uh, swordfish. Yum. Swordfish, swordfish with harissa. Beautiful. Smells gorgeous, people. I'll tell you, you can buy harissa seeds here in the U.S., rareseeds.com. You can grow your own peppers. This is absolute deliciousness. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you. Bye-bye.